in our previous lecture we have studied about floral whorls that is calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium today we are going to study about the insertion of floral whorls but first of all we'll see the definition of insertion of floral whorls it is defined as arrangement of floral whorls on thalamus with respect to the position of gynoecium is called as insertion of floral whorls one thing you have to keep in mind that even though we are saying gynoecium but we'll look only for one part of gynoecium and that is ovary and with respect to the position of ovary the remaining floral whorls will be seen depending on the basis of the arrangement of floral whorls there are three types hypogyny perigyny and epigyny first we'll see about hypogyny the word hypo it means below and gyny it means gynoecium that is ovary in hypogyny the shape of thalamus is conical or convex and on this thalamus the ovary it occupies the superior or the highest position so this is the diagram of hypogynous flower this is the ovary it is occupying the superior that means highest position and it is written as g and below g there is a small line so this is required while writing the floral formula sorry floral formula and hence we have represented this uh, short form or the symbol of the position of superior ovary then ovary it is occupying the superior position and now the other floral whorls that is calyx corolla and androecium they are present below the ovary such type of flower where the ovary is occupying the superior position and the remaining floral whorls they are arranged below ovary such type of flower is called as hypogynous flower and the example of hypogyny or hypogynous flower is china rose so we can see in this diagram this is the position of ovary that is superior ovary and the remaining floral whorls they are present or arranged below the ovary hence it is called as hypogyny then comes perigyny the word peri it means around again gyny it means gynoecium that is ovary in this type the thalamus is cup shaped or saucer shaped this is the thalamus this is cup or saucer shaped thalamus in this the position of ovary it is either semi superior or semi inferior that means the ovary is neither superior nor inferior and it is denoted as g and a small dash then if this is the position of ovary then the other floral whorls they are arranged on the rim of thalamus this is the rim of thalamus and these are the other floral whorls that is calyx corolla and androecium such type of flower it is called as perigynous flower so what is perigynous flower a flower in which the ovary is neither superior nor inferior or we can say it is semi superior or semi inferior and the other floral whorls are arranged on the rim of thalamus such type of flower it is called as perigynous flower example rose this is the position of ovary this is cup or saucer shaped thalamus and these are the other floral whorls which are arranged on the rim of the thalamus this is the last one that is epigyny the word epi it means above again the word gyny it means gynoecium or ovary in this type the thalamus 
it completely encloses the ovary so this is thalamus and this is ovary this ovary is completely enclosed by the thalamus in this type the ovary it is inferior or it occupies the lowest position compared to the other floral valves and the position of other floral valves it is above the ovary so this is ovary and these are the floral valves that is androecium calyx and corolla so such type of flower in which the ovary is inferior in position and the remaining floral valves they are arranged above the ovary then it is called as epigynous flower the example of epigyne is sunflower so these are the three types that is hypogyne perigyne and epigyne so this is the tabular form which shows at a glance the position of ovary and the position of other floral valves thank you